Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fourth and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather. For this 10 to 14 days for today's final video, day 10 will take us to the 31st of May, the final day of the month, would you believe it? And also the final day of the Jessica Spring, uh, of course. Um, so I should get on that for you uh, in a moment, just to say that uh, the first video scene was our 6am upload. We've also released the weekend forecast and the East WF Extended 6 weeks ago as well. So uh, check out all of today's videos if you'd like to do that. And please like, share, subscribe on this. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, for doing that, right, we're going to start off with searching temperature. So the CT is currently standing at 13.6, uh, which is around 3 degrees above 61. average that is provisional to uh, yesterday to the 20th of uh, the month. So the warm May goes on. These are the GFS upper temperature and precipitation ensemble. The next couple of weeks, the red line is a 30 year upper air temperature average for London. Look at London today. So, our closer average today can get a bit warmer over the rest of the weekend into the, into the beginning of next week. But a bit of a drop early next week. And then after that, from around the middle of next week onwards, we see a rise in the upper air temperatures. However, it's all scattered within there, you'll notice. So, we've got these cooler ensemble members down here. And then we've got some very warm or even hot ensemble members up here. So anything from around like months end onwards uh, has got a huge amount of uncertainty associated with it. Of course, this is a bank holiday period. So uh, we've got bank holiday uh, Thursday and bank holiday Friday uh, coming up uh, in a couple of weeks' time. And, uh, and it's very, very uncertain what's going to happen uh, there. So more about that in a second. But I can tell you, like, that the bank holiday uncertainty <laughs> is set to continue within the moral output for the time being. Precipitation-wise, um, it's going to be reasonably dry in London for the rest of the weekend. But early next week, we'll turn more unsettled with some outbreaks of rain and some heavy showers too. And then after that, towards the end of May, probably going into a drier trend, if anything. Temperature anomalies from the 23rd to 29th of May are going to be a little bit above average for England and Wales near and normal uh, further north. And precipitation anomalies from the 21st of May 29th are going to be drier than average for Ireland, Wales and England. Average a bit wetter than average though, further north. The latest wind flow map from EarthNoSchool.net shows that uh, we're bringing, bringing in a westerly wind today. Uh, from off the Atlantic Ocean. So it's going to be a bit cooler and fresher, but it's going to start getting warmer again uh, over the next day or so. Right, going at some chart data. Let me show how the UK Met Euro is looking... Oh, let's just go back to that. So the UK Met Euro is looking... There we go. Uh, for uh, midnight on Tuesday, with low pressure sitting just to our east, bringing in, uh, bringing in a rather cool and showery northwest wind. Heading into Wednesday, new low pressure is it true? That could bring some wet weather, especially in the north. Then through Thursday and Friday, high pressure will start to ridge up from the south and from the southwest. That area of high pressure will begin to take over the uh, web pattern and turn us drier and uh, warmer then. This is how Icon is looking for Tuesday, cool and showery northwesterly winds. And still rather than settled on Wednesday, then through Thursday and Friday, high pressure begins to ridge up from the southwest. It turns drier and warmer as we get to the end of the week. That high pressure then continues to exert its influence all the way up to midday on Saturday with a large area of high pressure then sitting over the top of the country, being mainly dry and warm weather. Uh, temperatures going at least into mid 20 Celsius with that. So summer well and truly back in business with Icon by next weekend. The GFS midnight run, again looking cool and showery on Tuesday with northwest winds, low pressure zip through as you go zip through as you go through into uh, the middle of next week. Then high pressure reaches up from the south and from the south we're turning us drier and warmer into the latter stages of next week and high pressure takes over next weekend with a lot of dry and warm weather with it but the gfs wants to take that high pressure even further northwards so by the time we get through to the end of the month it gets us to general day 10 monday 30th of may this high pressure is becoming a normal blocking feature then and starting to pull in cooler winds from the northeast and also showery northeasty winds as well and uh, we finish up by day 10, uh, not finish up, but you know, by, by, by day 10, we've got probably Northern blocking going on there with high pressure in Greenland and Norway. And uh, we're pulling in, uh, you know, proper easy winds, so quite cool and showery with that. 
uh, by day 10. Just about how far north we take that area of high pressure. Even more accelerated, getting us into the bank holiday. But this is bank holiday Thursday, for example, 2nd of June. Um, you know, still got normal blocking going on then with high pressure well and truly up into normal latitudes. This area of low pressure is threatened to run in, run in underneath it as well and might bring some wet weather into southern areas. Now, as you head on in through Bank Holiday weekend, it actually looked quite unsettled with low pressure then in off the Atlantic. That would bring showers or longer spells of rain with this low pressure and it wouldn't be all that mild either. So, very, very disappointing for the Bank Holiday weekend with the GFS Midnight Run. Uh, let's have a look at the 6 Z, uh, shall we? See what that one's doing. So, again, uh, 6 Z on Tuesday, cool and showery with those northwesterly winds. Uh, then high pressure for the second half of next week, ridging in from the southwest, bringing an increasingly drying trend and starting to warm up as well. Same idea with the 6 Z, though, as we get to next weekend, that high pressure goes even further north, starts to become a genuine sort of northern blocking type feature, setting up around Greenland and starting to pull in these cool northerly winds. And uh, look at this, it does actually start to roll in, rolling, uh, rolling, uh, the uh, right pressure from off the Atlantic Ocean. And that could bring some heavy rain in towards the southwest by month's end. What happens after that? Which well, just very unsafe. So, we bank quality Thursday, and uh, that low pressure transferred into the North Sea then. So, be bringing cool northerly winds at that point. And uh, the low pressure, of course, would have produced outbreaks of rain across much of the country as well. Very, very, very disappointing out output here uh, for, like, um, the Jubilee weekend. This is Friday, 3rd of June, with the low pressure in the North Sea. Down comes those northerly winds. And, uh, and just cool and rather wet, I have to say. Uh, with that, and then uh, at the end of GFS run gets us to the six uh, to uh, six uh, of June. Uh, the six there brings in another area of low pressure, so it looks increasingly unsettled and cool, really, through uh, through end of May and into the uh, first week or so of June. Very different to yesterday's GFS uh, output. Right, if you enjoyed the video, please smash the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for doing that. And drop a comment. Let, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. Thank you so much. Right, this is a GEM with low pressure again. Bringing showery and cool weather across the country on Tuesday. For another batch of wet windy weather on Wednesday. Then high pressure reaching in from the Atlantic. Refers in Friday. So I'm going to try it and put myself a little bit warmer to you. High pressure takes over into next weekend. Should bring what a dry, sunny and uh, rather warm weather with it. Uh, then we get to day 10, and the high pressure is still close to not becoming as much of a normal blocking feature of the GEM. So, should stay reasonably warm, no real northeast wind doing there. Should, should stay reasonably warm, uh, with the best of the sunshine probably in more southern and western areas. And then we've got the uh, East Sham WF, which again shows low pressure over the country and showering conditions to the country. Another trough pushes through on Wednesday and through Thursday and Friday. High pressure reaching in from the southwest turns the south increasingly uh, dry and warmer as we get to the end of the week. That high pressure then sits over the country next weekend, very similar to ICOM, bringing a very warm and dry weekend, sunny weekend next weekend, uh, summer. You know, uh, when shooting business there. And up to day 10, uh, ECM King's at high pressure century located. So this is the last day of May. Does not take that high pressure up to Greenland. So he keeps it centred somewhere across Scotland, really. Um, which is uh, a much warm, warmer position for that area of high pressure. It means we're centred under the high. We're not pulling in those cool north east winds. And uh, it, it would be mainly dry, sunny and potentially uh, warm with that as well. You know, it would be very warm uh, with that too. So, um, huge uh, range of uh, scenarios playing out here in the day 10 to 15 time frame coincides with the Bank Holiday weekend. And uh, so, uh, very, very uncertain what's happening uh, right now. We will keep you posted about all of it, of course. Right, the substation podcast based on that ECM run from Tomeshio.com. Shows showery rain in the northern west, but not that much in the south south east until Monday when it could be some wet weather into the east and into the southeast as well. Showers along as well as rain then into Tuesday before that low pressure sort of clears away later on next week. High pressure exerts its influence 
from the southwest turns as drier as you get to next weekend as the centre of that high pressure is basically dry all the way up to day 10 and of course pretty warm. These are the options on the table. The mean CL is on day 4, day 10 gets us to the last day of May from the Icelandic Metro 25 members of the ECM on solid of high pressure to our west reaching north, low pressure to the east and so that would be in line with like the GFS output bringing in those cooler northeasterly winds. 11 with high pressure pretty much over the top of the country, mainly dry and pretty warm with that. 5 with uh, low pressure here, so that got high pressure over the top of the country, mainly dry and warm with that. Uh, 5 here with low pressure over the country, high pressure, the south winds are coming in from the westerly direction. Uh, another 5 including the operational run has high pressure centered somewhere towards Scandinavia. Uh, mainly dry and warm with that, bringing a little bit of an easy flavour. I think that's pretty warm. Uh, and then another five with high pressure reaching down from uh, Greenland into the country. Mainly dry with that. Possibly a little bit cooler with winds in from the northeast. So high pressure is there or thereabouts at day 10. Its position though is unknown. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. We'll get us to the 5th of June. 20 members of the ECM on solid have high pressure just to our north and northwest. And around that, we bring in the wind from a northeasterly direction with low pressure to the south. Could be could be a little bit unsettled. More southern areas with a drop of low, perhaps threatening some rain into the south. We've got 17 with high pressure to the south, low pressure to the northeast. A little bit cool and showery with that. And then 14 with high pressure, some between Iceland and Scandinavia, bringing winds from the east direction, mainly dry and uh, rather warm with that. So again, the position of the high pressure will be all critical, all important for what happens around the bank holiday weekend. So as the two last series, a 500 millibar high tonnage bring down to week period. So the first week period, takes on 23rd, 27th of May. The coming week will have high pressure to our west and south, road pressure to our north and east. Winds will be coming in west and northwest direction, rather cool and showery at least for a time. Week two will be the 28th of May to 3rd of June with high pressure just to our west southwest. Around that, we're going to bring in the wind from west to northwest direction, mainly dry. And um, potentially a little bit on the cool side still. Week 3 is going to be the 4th to the 10th of June with high pressure more or less in over top of the country. Now, expect quite a lot of dry and relatively mild weather without quite warm. And then week 4 will be the 11th, 17th of June, top of road pressure sinking in over Scandinavia. High pressure pulling out into the middle of the Atlantic. We're probably going cooler and probably going more showery as well with winds from a northwesterly to rather northerly type direction with that uh, rather cool perhaps around the middle part of June. We'll see. Time will tell. Right, if you enjoyed the video, please smash the like button. Thanks for the channel. Thanks for the doing that. Drop a comment. Let's know what It's at all of our videos. And don't forget to tell friends about Gals Well. It's, it's amazing. It's incredible. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Bad was it? What do you think about that? On two battles it? Uh, right, okay, so we're done with um today's uh video. Please can you uh, give us a like we are grinding to 14k. So uh please give us a like. Uh right, okay. Uh thank you so much everybody for tuning in today content. We'll be back tomorrow with 6 a.m. upload. And um, I don't think we'll like to do 10 to 14 days tomorrow as well. So uh, yeah, maybe have a little look at long range. How about that? Why not? We're not live streaming tomorrow. So uh, in replacement of that, why not include a little bit of long range within our uh, videos? By the way, live streams probably going to come back in June. Maybe the first one on Sunday, the 5th of June. How does that sound? That'd be exciting, wouldn't it? Um, so we might get the lives back uh, for the first Sunday of June. Um, but yeah, not live streaming tomorrow. So um, uh, we'll probably include some long range into 10 to 14 days. And we may do a bank holiday update for you as well tomorrow. So keep tuning back to the channel for more. But for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.